USF able to save it. BYU Cougars come the lowest seeded team to win the West Coast Conference Championship. Going back to last year's game, it was tough for us. It was tough to lose something that we've been working all year for. When we saw that confetti falling and them celebrating, having those hats on the, their head and their, their shirts, they're like screaming, yelling, you know, it brought us back to that moment like, okay, you know what, this is our year. What that did was it, it gave them a taste. They know that there's this other level, this other layer of accomplishment, and they're hungry for it. And they think about it every day, and they want to go to that level again and beyond. If you put your effort there, that will come. Both Z and Taylor could be anywhere in the country. They're fantastic players, great people. And when they came to USF, they came specifically to build a program with us. And I'm very proud of the working relationship that we've had over these last three years. And I'm very excited about their senior year. And it's exciting to see not only are they confident, but they're also working very, very hard. And you know, when your best players are your hardest workers, that's generally when you're successful. I couldn't have better coaches. All season long, they've never given up on us. They, they wanted the best out of us. And so every time we step foot on that court, we promise them that we give it all. Coming to senior year, I think that was Z and I's mindset is, we had to make our team better. How can we do that? We need to be leaders on the court, off the court. Z and Taylor, they're priceless components to our team. Taylor is a beast at the game of basketball. Z, every day, she brings it 100% effort, 100% energy, 100% leadership. Everyone looks up to her. Blocked out of bounds by Proctor. When you play hard, you start giving to one another, and your teammates start seeing that, and it changes their mindset like, okay, we need to play hard every single time. We need to start giving to one another. And once everybody gets in that mindset, we're unstoppable. Out to Simon. Simon scores it for San Francisco. Jones squares it up for three and delivers. Dornsteiner with the putback. Right to the finish. That was a very clean shot. Powered open for three, in it goes. For the first time in a decade, San Francisco will beat Gonzaga. And a huge gorilla is off the back of the Dons. Tonight from the hilltop, the Dons host the Pacific Tigers in a West Coast Conference showdown as we celebrate senior night. This is the final home game for the San Francisco seniors. Yo guys. Seriously though, before we call this huddle, I just want to say I love every single one of you guys. This isn't the last home game because we've got more to come, but thank you for being the most favorite team I've ever love you guys. Had. All right, here we go. Together, one, two, three. Together! Senior day is bittersweet because it's a celebration of Taylor and Z and their fantastic careers here at the University of San Francisco. There's a lot of emotions that come with that day and I, um, you know, I'm certainly proud of the two of them and, and everything that they've accomplished as people, how they've grown since they've been at USF and, and uh, I will miss them tremendously. That day is to know that it's just, it's a milestone. It's a day to recognize what they've accomplished and, and how meaningful it is to their family and to this program. It was emotional dropping her off here when she was a freshman. But through the four years, this has been an amazing ride. I can't believe that this has come so fast. The important thing was being able to hug Coach AZ and just tell her thank you for everything she's done. She promised me she wasn't going to cry, but as soon as we looked at each other in the eye, tears just came, came flowing. And I think there were tears of joy. And I just couldn't thank her enough for the amazing experience she gave me here. Just having my family there, just to see me on that court one last time. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better day. 
seeing my coach and seeing her family there and just to see everybody out there supporting us and all our supporters around the gym, just to see how much love that we've had in our four years was truly amazing. As a coach, you look at them, you know, excited for the years to come and, you know, what they will become. And for them to have worked so hard to the point that they're at now is, is a great moment. Dykes, she is the all-time leader in free throws made on the hilltop. Big shot right there, guys. I tell you, that girl is fearless. Proctor among the top 35 and active scorers in the country. One of the best careers here ever on the hilltop. I get so energized just watching her, watching the team. It's amazing that my little girl has accomplished this. To see her out there and to be a team player and to pass the ball and to want the team to win. I would love to see her continue on. Howard for the lead. Count it! Watching a team develop mentally and physically and learning to gel together and become a true team, that was the best part for me. It's bittersweet because she actually is going from one level to the next. Her next step is going to be even better than this one. Everybody's been battling all year for this moment. You win, you advance, you lose, it's all over. It's Dykes, the senior to Proctor, leans in for three and backs it in! She does not want her collegiate career to end. Kicks out to Dykes, Dykes for three! She's got it! The Las Vegas comes up big! And one for Taylor Proctor! At the end of the game, I had to run and find Taylor because she's the one that I really shared my tears, my blood, my sweat with. To see us both accomplishing this after all the years, I just had to let her know how happy and proud I was of her. I don't care what anybody says about me. I love you, man. I love you. In that moment, I just wanted to hold her and hug her that whole entire time because if, if it wasn't for her, like with me, by my side the whole entire four years, I couldn't have done it. Finally, we did it, dude, like we did it.